Now, this is an interesting story. Now, the Nairobi County government and the Metropolitan Services are on the spot over the controversial allotment of public land in the city. Lands Cabinet Secretary Farida Karine submitted before the Senate Devolution Committee documents detailing how private developers are leasing public land that is under the Nairobi County government. And as our parliamentary reporter Geshuki Washuri reports, senators expressed shock after learning that the lease of the Pumwani Maternity Hospital expired in 2012 and the city county government is yet to seek its renewal. Lands Cabinet Secretary Farida Karone appeared before the Senate Devolution Committee of eviction of residents of Nairobi City Water and Sewerage Staff Quarters in Isili and Pumwani Staff Quarters. The cabinet secretary revealed Nairobi County government was yet to renew the lease for Pumwani Maternity Hospital that expired in 2012. This even as public parcels of land adjacent to the maternity hospital had been illegally allocated to private developers. You already know that the staff quarters, there are serious uh, dispute chances are they may have been allocated already to someone. Uh, like what you uh, reads out in your in your testimony now as it stands uh, pumwani maternity hospital is uh, sitting on land whose leasehold they do not have chair you will be surprised to know that up, up till now uhuru park did not have a title we are working on that kcc ground central park we are working on this uh, all these public institutions within nairobi chair the senator has queried how nairobi county government had allocated parcels of public land to nomad resort limited Yorkshire Company Limited and Avalanche Investment Group. The Senate is yet to establish the faces behind the three companies. You realize that Nomad Resort Limited, a company that was incorporated on 11th of February 2000, was allocated uh, the, the land in Isili on 9th of March 2000, one month after incorporation. And then uh, the deed plans and uh, and, and the registration of title was done 18 years later. So ST Mwangi will have to tell us how that happened. A, a valuable parcel of land like this one, then you just uh, lease it with an annual fee of uh, 46,000. So what are we saying? You know, there's no value for money. To we must see the minutes of the council meetings, whether they were in 2000 or 1978, they must be on record. We must see the letter of allotment. We must also get the certificate of incorporation for the companies that were allotted. Because, Chair, it is already emerging that some companies were allotted land just two weeks after the incorporation. Some companies were allotted land 10 years before they became tax registered. So we must see that. The Ministry of Land submitted 1,500 parcels of public land has so far been documented in Nairobi in the ongoing digitization program and the titling process has started. The Senators now want Inspector General of Police, the Director General Nairobi Metropolitan Services and the Governor Nairobi City County to appear in person next week Wednesday to answer the many questions surrounding allotment of public land in Nairobi. Reporting from Parliament, I'm Geshe Kiwashira.